What's going on, nation? I'm Scott from MuscularStrength.com, and even though I know leg videos get horrible views, we can't ignore them, just like you shouldn't be skipping the leg day. So today, we're going to go over three quad exercises for skinny guys or hard gainers, and if you haven't been keeping up with all the videos in this series, make sure you click the link to the entire playlist down in that pinned comment section below. And because it's a leg video, make sure you show some love and share it. Get it, get it to where it needs to be. Help a fellow gym dude out who doesn't train legs. <laughs> now remember guys, this advanced technique utilizes specific movements to emphasize the stretch, flex, and overload of a muscle group when training to help you hard gain is build more muscle by creating a stronger mind-muscle connection. But anyone can train with this technique to bust through a muscle building plateau as well. Stretch flex overload works by performing a tri-set of three different exercises and the strategy behind this technique is to use the first two exercises to establish the ultimate mind-muscle connection and then utilize the third movement to completely hammer out the quads to exhaustion. As for the routine itself, you're going to perform eight to 10 reps per exercise and complete four rounds of all three movements only resting 60 to 90 seconds after you complete one round of all three exercises. Remember guys, it's a tri-set, so there is no rest between exercises, and you're going to complete a total of four rounds. So let's get started. The first exercise is going to focus on the stretch, and you're going to do the sissy squat. Now I know what you guys are going to say, oh my god, I'm not going to do that exercise, everyone's going to look at me weird. Let me tell you a little secret. No matter what you do in the gym, whether you are the most overweight person in the gym or the most in shape, insanely ripped person in the gym, people are going to talk shit about you, okay? So this is for your gains, not theirs, so just do it, all right? Let's get started. So the stretch. This is the best exercise to focus on the stretch for the quads, and it is going to help you so much with establishing that strong mind-muscle connection. But it will take some practice to do this exercise. Proper form looks like this. You're going to hold on to something sturdy. For those of you that are advanced, you might not have to hold on to anything, but I still recommend that you do. You're going to hold on to something sturdy. You're going to go up on your tiptoes like this, and then you're going to flex your core, and you're going to flex your glutes and you're gonna push your hips forward. You wanna basically try to keep this portion of your body as stiff and straight as possible so that as you lean back, all that tension goes right to the quads. So as you lean back, as you get to about here, you're gonna start to feel a deep stretch. Whoa, <sighs> one second, see? Even the professionals mess up, so don't, don't get embarrassed in the gym. Gonna hold a little lower here. Get on your tippy toes, and then as you go backwards, you're gonna go down as far as you possibly can, and then when you get to the bottom, that's when you're gonna feel the stretch. Stay here for a second, come back up to the top, and then repeat for repetition. So on the tippy toes, flex your glutes, flex your core, go down as far as you can, and repeat for reps. And now you can also do this with a band, which might be easier for the majority of you, and to do this with a band, all you're going to do is attach it to something sturdy like this. And then as you perform the movement, you're going to use this to offset your weight. So stand on your tippy toes, flex your, flex your glutes, keep your core nice and tight. And then as you go back, you use the band to offset your weight and then go back to the top portion of the movement. I don't know, maybe more people would be happy doing this exercise if it was called like the matrix. So that's what we'll call it. Do the matrix first, that's gonna work your stretch. The second exercise to focus on the flex, you guys are gonna use a leg extension machine. Now, I know some of you might say, well, this exercise hurts my knees. Well, guess what? We're not using a ton of weight doing this exercise. All we're using this exercise for is to get to the top of the movement and flex and squeeze our quads as hard as we possibly can, preferably holding it for about one second before returning back to the starting position and going back up and continuing this movement pattern for reps. Now remember, like I said, the goal here isn't weight, it is focusing on the flex, so go light with this exercise and really help establish a stronger mind-muscle connection. 
And for the third exercise, guys, you're going to focus on the overload. And I wanted you all to be able to lift as much weight as possible. And I'm sure a lot of you guys thought it was going to be a front squat, but we're actually going to do a barbell hack squat instead. You're going to be able to lift a lot more weight off the floor doing a barbell hack squat, which is going to allow you to overload your quads a lot more as well. But there are some key form things you have to keep in mind in order to execute this exercise properly. And those are being that you want your feet about shoulder width apart. So like your heels are under your knees and your knees are under your shoulders. That's the straight line you want to be in. And you also want to make sure that your toes are pointing forward. Don't turn them out and don't turn them in. Just like if you guys were to do a front squat to maximize that quad engagement, you keep those toes pointing forward and you keep them about shoulder width. So the form is kind of the same. Now, where things change obviously is with the front squat, you have to hold the weight up here like this. But with the barbell hack squat, we're lifting the weight directly off the ground, so we'll be able to load much more on the bar. What you're going to do is go down, grab the barbell outside of shoulder width, and then from here, you want to drop your hips and keep your chest up, and then push through your heels to get to the top of the movement. Once you get to the top, flex your quads, and then bring the weight back down. And you're going to repeat this movement for reps, trying to overload as much as you possibly can. All right, guys, so that wraps up your quad workout, and it should only take you about 20 to 25 minutes max. Remember, the idea behind this series is to get you in and out of the gym as fast as possible while also dealing maximum muscle damage for regrowth because as a hard gainer, you don't want to be burning too many calories with long workouts. You need those calories to build muscle. One last thing, if you're not a hard gainer and want to add this workout to your current leg training, try adding only two rounds as a finisher after your current leg workout is complete. Now, I plan on doing hamstrings for the next hard gainers video, but only if this video gets 3,000 or more likes. So get to smashing that like button, and as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys.